everyone, uh, Raider Dashing Womble here. Uh, hope everyone's had a uh, great um, Tuesday. Yep, I was just trying to remember what bloody day it was. <laughs> Funny how I can never, I've got to put my gloves on. Ain't that cold out? But it is in the van at the minute. Because seems that the eating's playing up again. So tomorrow it goes to the bloody garage. Uh, let's see what get the pressure tester on it and see where that bloody leak is going out of uh, unfortunately I don't have one of those otherwise I would have done it by now but anyhow alright well um, oof, what can I say well I didn't do a lot today um, actually I didn't work yesterday um, I went but well I started to but Just got a bit uh, peeved off of it all. <laughs> Just needed a night away from it, so. Uh, there was a lot of flipping uh, ridiculous orders coming in, and I just, I just had enough. So anyway, I didn't do uh, too much else going on to uh, bother about with city, city offers coming through. But I will say tonight, um, I didn't do any, didn't, do many many jobs tonight uh, my first uh, order of the day I said I did start around 5 35 40 40 around about that time um, my first job was uh, from the mint um, and it was a grubhub order and uh, there'd been several uh, uh, Lower, lower offers that I couldn't uh, it was no way I could do, do those lower offers a lot of $2.50 orders to pick up um, a lot of Walmart uh, offers coming in from uh, Uber Eats I, I just don't want to deal with it I don't want to deal with uh, Uber Eats uh, getting involved with it I think all that really should be done with Walmart Spark they got their own, own uh, app let them do it because I've got, I actually switched on Walmart Smart like Spark tonight and um, I've still not done anything with it. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how you get your money's uh, um, payment information on there. So I think I'm going to end up having to call them. Um, and uh, but I was looking at that, the office, I tell you, you put on Walmart Spark, as soon as you put it on, it goes crazy. It just goes crazy. It just offers and offers and offers keep coming in. And I was parked opposite the one in Lee's Summit, but they were coming in from all over the place. Raytown, uh, Independence. Independence is actually part of that, that district, I didn't realize. Uh, that zone, I didn't realise Raytown was on that zone too, but anyway, um, I need to get, get onto that though, because, um, I think it's going to be pretty, uh, it, it's going to be pretty good, I think, but I'm going to try and do it during the daytime on the Walmart Spark, I think that's probably going to be, be the, uh, better time to do it for me, get out a bit earlier in the day, and uh, do some, uh, well, not dashing, but I'll be dashing around possibly. But anyway, just give it a go, see what it's all about. Um, anyways, we'll see. And I'll update everybody as soon as I do that. All right, well, tonight, uh, like I said, picked up the one from Grubhub, paying about $20, um, and it was going out to Blue Springs. All right, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I wasn't in the best of moods tonight to uh, do anything. Uh, just the uh, last couple of days haven't been that brilliant. But anyway, um, so when I did deliver that, it went somewhat well, and I didn't bother to uh, listen to the uh, the app up the map because somewhat I could see where it was going and it's whatever way they wanted me to take seemed to be a bit of a oh, I don't know a bit of a uh, madness we've been uh, 
directions. So anyway, I went my own and then the map figured itself out where I was. So, and I've actually been to this house before, but I think it was, it was on, I'm sure I've been to that one, but it was on a Uber Eats, so. Because I remember the lady came out of there and it was the first time she'd ever ordered. So, uh, but it was a bloke I was delivering to this time. But anyway, so I got that delivered. Uh, Giza was waiting out the front, or out, out the front of his, uh, at his front door. With his dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, anyway, so, uh, delivered that, got back. Wasn't a whole lot coming through that was worth doing. Again, it was all, uh, Uber Eats was just driving me crackers with, uh, um, Walmart stuff or st stuff that was just going too far away um anyway so uh I can't I don't think I did it I didn't do an Uber Eats in the end I think I just turned it off and just got um I did mess around with the app I went through the notification because those Uber apps, the Uber vipping notifications, they'll come on and they're pretty persistent. Um, I think, like, with the last update that I did on my phone, um, it made it a bit easier where you can um, change how the notifications come in. So I was able to go in there and uh, figure that out. And uh, that's... Um, taken somewhat some uh it's taken care of somewhat of those uh lastly vipping notifications coming in because uber eats is dance vipping system is a pain in the rear end oh anyway um so i had an order i had an order tonight that uh Oh, actually, I'd done one on... I did do one. I took one on Uber Eats, and it was a double order. And, um... But what I hadn't... I don't know if it was down to me or the app. But... I thought it was both from the... I think it was down to, down to the app, because that's right. Because it said, go to My Thai Bistro, and it was two orders to pick up. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. And it was going to two separate places. That's right, remember now. I don't think I've got a picture of that, unfortunately. But yeah, that's what it said. And, um... But the problem was, is I went, I made a beeline, got down to uh, Mai Tai. And it said KFC. Why oh, am I bloody well wanting to pick... I don't want to pick up the KFC. What's all this? What did I do? <laughs> What did the app do? All right, well, one of those VPN pickups, two pickups, they wasn't both at um, my tire. Um, one was at KFC. I'd already passed KFC going to bloody there. Um, and KFC at that time of night can be a bit of a pain in the rear end. So I went, I'm just going to drop it. And I dropped, I just uh, unassigned that one on Uber Eats or wherever they uh, do it. But anyway, I got rid of that. And then um, I went, well, I, I'm just going to drop this one. Because at that time, more uh, uh, DoorDash orders were coming through. And I went, oh, that's it. I'm just going to turn off Uber Eats. I've had enough of this. And I just uh, unassigned that one. It was a pretty good paying order though, but either way, I um, I just had enough of it, so I turned it off. Unassigned that one, clicked and turned flipping Uber Eats off. It just wasn't worth my time at that time. Um, so uh, so anyway, so then I, uh, I went up the road a bit and waited outside um, Costa Vida and Starbucks in that car park. And this order comes in for from DoorDash for uh, Perkins. 
um, it was, and it said it was paying six fifty or six seventy five, one of those. Anyway, and I went, I'll do that. I know the restaurant. I'm going down there. So I go down there and I, th I thought, well, maybe I'll get some biscuits while I'm in there if there, uh, if it's, if it's, uh, if there's time to do it, I'll grab those because they're normally pretty quick when I go in there. They know what I want and they pick it up and I'm at the door, give them the money and off I go. And I could do all of that while I'm picking it, picking it up. But no. <laughs> now. My wife and I, we eat in Perkins at least once a week, most most times. Uh, this week it'll be twice. We was here yesterday, and we'll be there on Thursday. But today, they got a new crew in the evening. Never seen any of these people before, bar one. And... Um, I didn't see her till I went back. <laughs> so anyway, I think it was like about 20 past half seven, about seven around when I picked it all up. Um, I got in there. There was people waiting at the counter to pay. There was uh, some other people waiting around. And there was this young fella in there. Uh, he was obviously new to it. And um, he's trying to figure out how to do the payment thing. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like it's going to take a bit of time. I'm going to go into the uh, loo and come back out. So I went in the loo, did whatever I had to do, come back out. Um, obviously washed my hands. <laughs> anyway, um, came back out and um, there was someone else waiting there. Like, oh my good gosh. So, uh, still the same people were there at this, at this uh, thing that were trying to pay. Okay, so, um, so then this other lady, come, this lady comes out the back and she says to this bloke, oh, can I give you a hand? Is there something I can help you with? Like, to the bloke who's trying to figure out how to do the payment stuff. So she went in to help, and then she couldn't figure something out, so she had to call someone else. Oh, my gosh. In the end, this fella that was who'd been trying to do the payment had wandered off but didn't come back. So then I went and grabbed him and went, I need this order picked up, you know. I, this is what I need. I've got people waiting on this. And, um... Oh, yeah, that was the thing. It said it was 6.50 or 6.75. Okay, I've skipped ahead a bit here. Um, so as soon as I turn up, hit com that I'm at, I've arrived at the shop. Right, as soon as you hit that, comes up, catering order. Got to take a picture of the catering bag in order to do that. Not a problem. It's in the back all the time in the back, and um, along with all the other bags that I've got, insulated bags I've got, and um, took it out, take a picture of that, but it's like. 650 catering orders are normally a lot <laughs> and they don't i've never that's the lowest it has ever ever shown to come through as a catering order i mean normally they'll come through as like i don't know 12 15 dollars or something it's around about that price as a start off price and from there it goes up it's like this can't be right. And I looked through the order and went, oh, good grief, there's a lot in there. What the heck? This can't be right. And and the uh, DoorDash's system has been a little bit odd as of late. So I went, okay, well, it ain't going that far. I'm going to do it, carry on with it. But as I was waiting around in there and with all the uh, uh, problems, it seems, that was going on with this new crew, I was like, well, blimey, I nearly dropped that order. I nearly went, I did. To... <clears throat> what in the world is going on? All right, well, it's Thanksgiving. Oh, everywhere's probably going to be busy. All right, so I waited for that. Anyway, the kid came, the bloke came out, and I, 
he put it put his two bags on on the count on the top of the uh, glass cabinet there and i went is that it and he says yes i said are you sure and he went yes are you sure and he went yes it is that's all there is okay well you know, as drivers, we cannot go through the bag to make sure that it's all there. Obviously, we all know that. I mean, people don't want us going through their bags anyway to see, oh, yeah, they've got all that. That's what the restaurant does. The restaurant is supposed to be, well, have it all there and know exactly what's what's going out the door. It go at uh, Perkins, for example, they've got, if you've not already been in there or I'm familiar with it. They've got this cabinet at the back, and it's got four little. It's got cubby holes where where they put everybody's food and that in. So there'll be a little square box, people's food in it, and for, so on. Right, different ones, and uh, make it easy to find for them all. All right, so okay, well, so I put it, took it back to the, took it to the van. Put it in the uh, catering bag, zipped it all up. It was only going up the road, so it wasn't going to have that much much uh, time to uh, cool down anyway. So I got it up to its address, up to the address, and it says uh, leave at the door. Okay. So I got up there, and a uh, uh, bit of a busy back street that one was. <laughs> Anyway, uh, get round there and um, get up to the door. Uh, was going to go up the steps, but it was one of those uh, porches that came up to about here on me. And uh, I was just able to just put it up on the top, take a picture, and uh, confirm that it had gone, that it had been delivered, rather. So uh, I get back to the van, get in the van and... Uh, I'd hide their house next the house next door because they had all these nice written, uh, Christmas uh, lights on. And if you've seen my video yesterday, you'll understand that I like Christmas lights. So I took a picture of that, and then I confirms the order that had just dropped off. And um, I went okay, clicked up, clicked on that, and I do not understand for the life of me why DoorDash does this. It's absolutely ridiculous why they do this. So going back a bit, it's first said, and I'm sure it said 650. 650 was what the uh, amount, the book amount is what I call it. So that's what I agreed to uh, deliver it as. But most of the, all the time, catering orders go up. So as soon as you hit the confirm, it tells you exactly what, what it is. And I don't know why they do this, because it's absolutely, it, it's stuff why they do this. Anyway, uh, so I clicked on that, clicked that, it was confirmed, and it comes up and tells you exactly what, it, what the order amount was. And I can't remember how much uh, in the way of change it was, but it was a few pennies short of $30. Woof. Well, that was unexpected. I mean, when you see it go from six fifty dollars up to uh, $30, that's a heck of a jump. Um, I've done orders before, and it's like $12, $15, and then they jumped up to something similar to that. So to that customer, um, thank you very much for the tip. Uh, that was uh, really generous. But, after, you know, I've taken a picture. I've taken a little bit of time to move off. Got myself all seat belted in. Gets up the road a bit. Um, maybe a few hundred yards away. Just the end, end of the bloke's uh, the road. And um, text comes in from the bloke I just dropped off. At. Um, it's not all there. I don't know. Uh, it's a pain all right so i was at i was actually at the end of his road then so i stopped the van backed up and went back down down to uh 
his house, said that, you know, I'm at your outside your address, Let's try and figure this out. And um anyway, he came out and we was both we both ended up trying to vip in call uh Paul Perkins. He says to me that he says, uh out of all, all the uh, drivers, he says, I'm the nicest one that, that they've had, uh, or that he's had there, because most of the drivers, now, I don't get this, really, to be fair, and I'm pretty peeved off about it, but um, he says that um, at most, uh, they do have, uh, I guess they must be uh, regular customers or fairly regular customers of uh, DoorDash, maybe the other one's not sure. Um so uh so every now and again i guess there's a problem there's always going to be a problem um something's going to be forgotten it happens i mean i've done it before uh, walked out of there and just left the drink behind or they just haven't handed me the drink and uh stupidly i've just not looked but anyway, um, and, but that was that. That was in the beginning. Most of the time, almost every time I look now. Um, but he says to me that that um, that other drivers, when when something happens, they're just not helpful. Okay. So, why are drivers not being helpful? From what I saw tonight, this bloke gave a really good tip. And even if he didn't give as much as what he did, um, if you're in the vis if you're not on another delivery, because some of the times these are stacked orders, so like we'll do a drop there, at drop off at this fella's house, for example, and then we'll have another one, a pizza or something, or maybe from Perkins again, or wherever, whichever restaurant, and that'll be going a couple of streets or more away, or wherever it's going. Carry on. Maybe it'll be going to Blue Springs. I mean, I've had that before. It'll be going further afield. Now, if it's going further afield or something, you, you're you somewhat... You're not really in a position to uh, do anything about it at that point because you've you've got a, uh, you've committed to go uh put your services to go deliver someone else's food however i mean i wasn't i wasn't uh on a going on another job uh so i was able to go do what i could and um but anyway, so I get back there and he tells me that. So I was, I don't know. I mean, we're not always vipping and going off on another job. We we do. These people order a lot. There's people that order every day. There's people that order several times a day. I've had that. Um, they're our customers. You want to, uh, if you're doing doing driving, doing door dashing for a living, you really need to be looking after these people because at the end of the day, they're the ones paying our wages. Um, and if they're not paying, none of us are making any money because when we sit, we don't we don't earn anything. We're we're contractors. We uh, we're self employed. If no one's buying anything through DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grubhub for whoever, if we're sitting, we're not earning. So why not Vipin make the effort to help these people? This bloke's obviously paid a lot. Of, I don't know how much money he spent on his food, but I mean, it was obviously a chunk of change for sure. But because... Um, I had several meals, so um, so anyway, I went back and we t we uh, tried uh, calling. Uh, we both called, and I finally said, "You know what?" I'll I said, "Well, I said you can call DoorDash if you like, and uh, see if they'll give see what they can do about it. They'll either send a, send another driver out, but I, I said, you know what? They they close at eight. And it's like about three or four minutes, two at the time. 
it ain't that far away. They were seating some other people when I went in, when I was leaving. So I gave him my phone number he, and uh, I said, I'll go down there because they're obviously not answering the phone for whatever blasted reason. So uh, I drove down there and they were still, you know, the doors were still open, thankfully. And uh, the food was there. And I said to the woman, why didn't the bloke give me give me the food? I I asked him repeatedly, is he sure that, that if that is he sure that's all there is? She said, Yeah. They were still making the up the the rest of the food in the back. Well why didn't he tell me that? I asked him repeatedly three times I asked this fella, Are you sure? And he said, Yes. And he was adamant that it was that it was uh, all there. Anyhow, I grabbed what the, what there was. There was a couple of bags up there and a and a drink. And um, so I got all of that, put it in the uh, catering bag, and uh, took it all back to him. I texted the fella on the way, but I didn't get a reply. And then I had to remember where he lived. <laughs> but um. So anyway, got that up up there, and then and then I tried to park, and there was a bloody great Amazon van right in front of his house. Now, oh, blasting it! <laughs> and we parked up behind that, and um, as I was getting the stuff out of the car, I see that I sort of looked towards his house and tried to ring him. And uh, as I re went to ring him, I see him coming out down the steps. So. Anyway, he came down to the car and down to the van and I gave him the foot, the rest of the food, apologised for it all, told him what went on. And he gave me some more money, gave me cash tip too, which was really nice of him. But, um, but I, uh, it's just beyond me why other drivers don't, don't, uh, offer that service. I mean, I can understand, yes, if you're going on another on another delivery on a stack order. But we're not always on a stack order, so you can't always in, come up with that. The bloke, obviously, Vipin uh, gives a healthy tip on Vipin that. So surely, Vipin, you must be committed to uh, helping him. Um, but even so, even if he didn't leave that m amount of money then surely you should be, and will be, still be committed to helping the people that, that obviously, like I said, obviously we're out there paying for our wages, because as we know, there's a heck of a lot of people out there that are just offering, like, 250 $2 to 250 to deliver food, like, up to 15, 20 miles away. Those people are clowns. But anyway, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think that, that there should be some customer service, certainly with uh, with drivers. Anyhow, uh, so yeah, so I delivered all of that. He got his food. He was happy. I was happy that he got it all. Um, I was. I was truly happy that he got it all because that's a... Uh, you know, he's there, he's all, he don't want to go out, he's probably been out working all day, he don't leave well, no one wants to go out and mess around at Perkins. That's why they pay the extra to uh, get the drivers to go do it. I don't understand it. All right, anyway, thanks for uh, working with me on that one, and uh, thanks for uh, the very generous tip, tips actually too, you go too. But um, but anyway, yeah. After that, I think I did uh, possibly one more job. I <laughs> can't remember. I can't remember. Oh no, DoorDash app went crackers. DoorDash app went crackers. Um, DoorDash app all of a sudden comes up and says the map says we're somewhere in the world. <laughs> all of the world map comes up. Oh my good gosh. 
So I zoomed in and went in on London. Went, maybe they're flipping doing all right in London. <laughs> the map system's pretty good for looking if you're in London. It went right away down to my old road where I lived. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. And told me all the sites and everything where where I lived as well. That was quite fun. I worried I, while the app was been, uh, working itself out, I was too I was uh, too busy playing with that and watching the video and uh, yeah. I did another one uh, delivery from uh, the mint at some stage too, but. But yes, tonight wasn't um, as brilliant, but mostly because I wasn't in a uh, favourable mood to start with. I was alright later on, I mean, I'm alright now. Um, uh, gave up, came home, uh, have been out here for the last couple of hours because I was uh, putting another video together, which I've already posted. Uh, what's that? Pick what? what? Oh, I don't know what that um rubbish come through something from uh i don't know one of the things anyway um came home haven't actually been in home yet just been out here doing the uh video editing of a video that i just put up um something a little bit different of kit gets um and then um just finishing doing this one and I'll edit this and get this on on its way in a little while. But tomorrow, uh, or rather today, it's five past 12 now. Um, I'll be out at the garage at one o'clock, getting, um, seeing if we can get the pressure tester on this. See where this darned uh, fluid is going. See what the next bloody repair is due on the van. Um, some things I can do, but some things involved a lot of flipping. I have a little hands to uh, do with it, or I have to get underneath the van, and I don't want to do that. And, um, some involved a uh, little bit more of a delicate touch than I'm going to flip and do, do with it. And plus, it's either hot or flipping cold out here. It's never a flipping mild temperature, is it? So anyway, just go take it to the garage to do. So anyway, yeah, all right. Well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Ain't ain't a very long one. Mostly a complaint, really, about flipping other drivers. <laughs> um, and um, and maybe the new uh, Perkins flipping new people too. You need probably need to uh, train them to think about it before they give it to the drivers, because the driver ain't. Ain't allowed to go through the food. But the driver of Yipping has to Yipping consistently asked, persistently asked rather, are you sure? And when the driver has done that three times, yeah, that's three, three times to the to the Yipping restaurant bloke, and he persistently Yipping tells me that it is all there. The driver ain't very happy when he flipping gets to the other end to find out that that um to hear that it isn't all there. I didn't have to go back, I suppose. But <laughs> isn't that the right thing to do? I thought so. Anyway, uh thanks for watching. Um and uh, hit the like button if you, that's one of them. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Uh, if you didn't, just send it up, forward it to someone you don't like, and I can babble on and moan at them instead. Um, and uh, hit subscribe if you would. Both of those actions work work well and help me, help the channel grow. And um. Hit the bell icon too, so you can uh, get warned of when the new videos come out. And uh, over the next few month or so, month or so, uh, I'm going to be uh, posting pictures of, uh, and there may be just random videos of just Christmas lights. 
I like seeing the Christmas lights and uh, so I'll put a few in, in the video somewhere along here because there was a couple I saw displays I saw today. But um, I'm just going to do a series of uh, Christmas light videos, so beware. Unless you like, and I'll put some music with them too, so it won't be me babbling on it. It'll just be uh, music and lights, and maybe flipping animals too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back at some stage. And um, hopefully, uh, a bit early, well, Wednesday in it now, I suppose. So uh, hopefully, uh, everyone has a uh, safe and happy Thanksgiving. I know that's Thursday, and I still got another day to go. But um, you know, some of you may be travelling and not want to be if you've been bothering to look at my ugly mutt on here. All right, thanks again. Cheers. Ta-da.